Good evening, folks. I'm Michael Enterprise. And I'm Danny Bargaining. Welcome to another episode of Sight vs. Sight, where we bring you the highs and lows, the thrills and spills, the best and worst of Australian workplaces managing their health and safety. So, Danny, where were we last time? Well, if you remember, Mike, we were tracking Bob in the workplace, who was making fast work of a sandwich in his lunch break. We believe at this stage it contains ham, cheese and possibly tomato. That's yet to be confirmed, Mike. Well, his stats show that Bob is about to encounter a potential workplace hazard, Danny. How do you think Bob's going to react to this? Well, Mike, let's recap what we know about Bob. We know Bob usually works in the lab. And we know he enjoys a sandwich. But we also know this is a non-unionised workplace, Danny. So since Bob isn't a fan of rocking the boat, I think we may be able to guess his reaction to... Let's tune in to find out. Look, he's on the move and... He's ignored it. He's ignored it. That's actually a typical reaction by Bob in this kind of unorganised workplace, Mike. No surprises there, Danny. None, Mike. Research shows that union workplaces have healthier and safer conditions that factor in communication and processes so that workers like Bob will be equipped to report this kind of hazard. Oh, I'm afraid there are going to be consequences to this inaction, Danny. Let's see what unfolds. Roast chicken. Chicken fajitas, barbecue chicken, deep fried chicken, sauteed chicken. Yep, sauteed chicken. Oh, uh, lemon chicken? Lemon What's chicken. with the chicken, Danny? Well, Mike, this isn't any chicken these workers are talking about. They've each been promised a frozen chook as part of an incentive scheme imposed by management policy to reward no injuries in the workplace. It's been nearly three months now. No incidents. That's not entirely true, is it, Danny? No, Mike. There actually have been several injuries in that time but the workers have been encouraged not to report it. That's why Jerry here has been hiding a broken toe for some time now. You often see this sort of activity in unorganised workplaces, Mike. So how's your uh, back, Sam? What? Oh. Oh, it, it's just fine. It's absolutely fine, no problem at all. There's, there's no need to cover my shifts. No need at all. How, how are you boys? Uh, what are you doing this weekend, huh? That's if we get one. <laughs> well, actually, I was playing on... Ah, 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 my archery eye! <laughs> Not the face! Ooh, I think we're going to have to see that one again in slow motion. Now, unfortunately, what's happened here, Danny, is a result of workers not being involved in all aspects of health and safety. If these workers were represented by a union trained health and safety rep, this may have been preventable. Yes, Mike, we see this every day in these kind of unorganised workplaces. I'm concerned how, if at all, this otherwise preventable injury is going to be handled. Well, let's see what happens next, Danny. What you going to do, mate? Well, I don't want to cause any trouble. And I need my shift right now. Yeah, I hear you, mate. And don't forget the chicken. It will be worth it for the chicken. You, Captain Jack. Ooh, what do we know about this one, Danny? As I'm sure you're aware, Mike, by law, every workplace has the right to elect health and safety reps. Mm -hmm. In this case, management seems to have chosen Kylie here. But unfortunately for Darren, she's not the most qualified person to be in this position. Mm -hmm. She's been chosen and trained by her boss without any proper consultation with the other employees and doesn't seem to have their best interests at heart. That's a shame, Danny. Crying shame, Mike. Hmm. Boss wants to see you in his office. Now. You wanted to see me? Damien. It's Darren. The D-man. D-train. Now then, let's bow out. Okay. Off the record, right? Sure. You do understand we're just one day shy of the injury period, right? But my eye... There is no eye in team, Jared. But there's an eye in chicken. You like chicken, yeah? I suppose... You like chicken. Everyone <laughs> likes chicken. Now I know this good doctor does great work with animals. Ostriches, turtles. Turtles? Now, tomorrow I will have her check you out. Your left eye still works, right? Uh... You like golf? Everyone likes golf. If you look at this care factor scale, Danny, you'll recognise that Darren and his fellow workers' rights aren't taken very seriously in this unorganised workplace. Yep, Mike, management seems more concerned about safety in its own right, but are probably more concerned about workers' compensation costs. 
Also, building the union is never one of management's goals. That's not great for Darren and co. No, Mike. Ooh. So, me, myself, and I, I came up with a plan, Darlene, a blueprint if you may. And my chosen one, Kylie here, she'll sort you out. And I know you'll be impressed. It looks like they've tried to put some preventative measures in place, Danny, but it really doesn't seem to be working, does it? Well, Mike, it just doesn't seem there's been any collective consultation in decision-making to engineer an effective health and safety solution. If they had a union-trained delegate working with management, the workers, the health and safety rep, then I think that they'd have a better chance of dealing with the source of this hazard, and not a band-aid approach to fixing it. I'm so sick of this. Everything is taking me twice as long as before, and production is down. Yeah, I'm over it. And did you hear Bob got his shifts cut back last week just for complaining about it to Kylie? That's right. <laughs> Tell me about it. If only... If only we had unionised workplace promoting health and safety. With the trained union delegate, to help us with negotiating work groups and electing health and safety groups. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Then, then we could work together. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Work together for fairer, safer, and just working conditions. Yeah. 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 We need to nominate someone to stand for us. Yes. Yes, yes. 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 Me? All those in favour of Sam as our nominee, say R. <laughs> there seems to be a real turn of events here, Danny. It looks like that care factor scale has reached a tipping point in favour of our employees' rights here. Some definite changes to organise this working place are being put in place with this election. Changes for the better, Mike. Come in. Would you look at that, Danny? In she comes, the elected delegate, now union trained, supported by her members. She knows their rights and she now seems to be working with the health and safety rep, working together for better results, for a safer and healthier workplace! Now about that enterprise collective agreement. Well, that's it for us tonight, folks. Looks like another win for unionized workplaces everywhere. Looks like now they'll solve the problem and help keep their workplaces healthy and safe. Thanks for tuning in. We look forward to seeing you next week. I've been Mike Lenterprise. And I've been Danny Bargaining. Good night, Mike. Good night, Danny. <laughs>